Thank you for choosing the SNL Fan Podcast. I'm your host, just some guy named Jay. And before I get into this installment of the SNL Podcast, I just want to give a quick shout out. I want to give a shout out to the Giant Blast. The Giant Blast is one of the largest email blast distribution lists on the web today. With over 100,000 email accounts subscribed, not only is it a large email blast slash newsletter for entertainment, they also do marketing and promotions for rising indie bands, singers, and rappers. So if you're looking to get your music heard by a broader audience, you should definitely check out the Giant Blast. Uh, also, if you have a service to provide or a product to sell, using the email blast with the Giant Blast is a great way to create awareness uh, for what you're doing to increase revenue. You know, so definitely check out the Giant Blast. If you're interested, I'm going to put their information in the information box below. All right, now let's, uh, let's keep it moving here. Uh, what I want to talk about is uh, NBC's Up All Night. Up All Night is finally going to sleep. <laughs> so, uh, so I guess most of you have pretty much heard this. I, I, I guess uh, not even checking out the internet gossip or news. You can pretty much look at the show and tell where it's going. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't that bad, I guess, but, you know. Um, you know, so basically the main thing of what happened is they decided to do the final, you know, couple of episodes in a, as a multi-camera sitcom, you know, with a studio audience and everything like that. And I thought that was a good idea. Like, you know, to, I mean, I, guess, I mean, you know, I, not everything has to be a single camera show. But, uh, you, you know, because um, that's what they're, that's, that, that's kind of, I guess it's, it's easier to produce, produce these types of shows where they just have the single camera. But, uh, but, um, you know, uh, you know, they, they I was, because I was actually looking forward to seeing it like that. And plus, you know, Maya Rudolph coming from SNL, you know, I, I definitely wanted to see her, you know, you know, rock the stage like that in that kind of format again, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, not everybody was feeling it. Christina Applegate said, I'm out. <laughs> and, uh, the show's creator and SNL former, you know, former SNL writer Emily Spivey also decided to, uh, you know, leave the show. So, you know, pretty much what was left was Will Arnett, Maya Rudolph, and, you know, and, you know, a few people, the other people. Um... And, uh, you know, and, and, and the rumors were they were considering replacing... Christina Applegate's character, uh, not, not, now they, you know, I guess they weren't deciding whether they were going to replace the character, or if they were just going to replace the actor, you know, I mean, of course they're going to replace the actress, because, uh, she's not coming back, but, they were thinking about just making her a whole, like, just, just, just having somehow, like, write her character out, like how they did on, uh, Two and a Half Men, and just kind of bring in a different, you know, person to fill that void, but, uh, you know that, uh, this show is definitely not two and a half men. I don't even think this show lasts two and a half seasons. Um, isn't this the second? Isn't it like what the second season of this show? Maybe the third? I don't know. But uh, but yes, they the, the the replacements that were going around on the internet, they were thinking about uh, using a former friend and could have been SNL cast member Lisa Kudrow. Um, yeah, but Lisa Kudrow said she's definitely not uh, <laughs> getting on that sinking ship. And there was also thinking about uh, Sarah Chalk, you know, uh, you know, also known as Darlene Number Two, and uh, Elliot, Elliot Reed <laughs> from Scrubs. It was thinking about uh, thinking about her too, but that's 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 just some other, uh, you know, internet hearsay, you know, internet he say she say type stuff. Um. So you know nobody uh, knows for sure, but I I I I don't see any of those scenarios happening actually. Um, you know, um, so yeah, so basically the show is uh, pretty much. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, it's kind of sad that they don't have the. You know, they're not going to get rid of it like you know have like a final episode. But I mean, but then again, I mean, you know, do they have that many people watching it to uh, actually give the fans something like this? They could just pretty much throw it under the rug and keep it moving. Um, it's also rumored that Maya Rudolph was, uh, cast to play a pregnant woman in the upcoming Sean Hayes comedy that might be getting picked up by, uh, NBC. Um, but that's just, that's also some, uh, some backwoods, uh, internet gossip, you know. But, uh, but, you know, Maya Rudolph is actually pregnant, though, uh, with, with her, uh, with her fourth child. And, uh, you know, and, and Maya Rudolph, I mean, <laughs> man, she is... 
she is very fertile. You know, I mean, actually, uh, you know, she could probably get pregnant just by sitting on a park bench. <laughs> actually, her part, uh, you know, actually, uh, her partner, uh, Paul Thomas Anderson, knocked her up by jerking off into a napkin and throwing it away in the trash while on the set of directing one of his new movies. And, uh, and that's how she got pregnant with her fourth child. That's how fertile she is. A womp womp. Okay, moving right along. Um... You know, uh, but it, you know, I'm not really, wasn't really much of a huge fan of the show. I just kind of watched it here and there, and um, you know, it, it had some good jokes here and there. But, but just, just the overall premise. Actually, I think Maya Rudolph should have been the star. You know, up all night. They should have just made it. They should just called it Ava or something, and then just had like Will Arnett and Christina Applegate's characters just kind of be kind of a little side thing going on. You know, with they, with them taking care of the kid. And everything, but how many episodes could you actually do of a show like this? I mean, because once the sh once the baby gets big, you know, it's not going to be keeping them up all night, you know. And uh, wasn't all the characters unemployed? I mean, well, I guess that's a reason to stay up all night. You ain't got a, you ain't got a reason to wake up in the morning. I mean, well, I mean, excuse me, you have a reason to wake up in the morning. You want to live. You just don't have a reason to get up that early because <laughs> you don't. You ain't. I guess unless you work third shift. Womp womp. Okay, well anyway, just let me keep it moving. Uh, you know what? They should just try to remake. Uh, they should just try to do some show like Samantha Who. What do you you know? What do you think about that? Well, anyway, also in other Christina Applegate news, Kristen Wiig will be joining the cast of Anchorman Two. So definitely check that out. I'm definitely going to be looking forward to seeing Kristen Wiig performing in Anchorman Two. Um. But yeah, that's all I'd like to say about Up All Night. Feel free to post your opinions and uh, post your feedback. What do you think? Do you think the show should go? Uh, do you think the show should stay? Were you a fan of the show? Uh, feel free to say what you have to say. I just I want to know. And again, I want to give another shout out to the Giant Blast. You want to get your stuff out there? Advertise to a bunch of people? Definitely do it with the Giant Blast. All right? Again, I'm just some guy named Jay. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow.